Hey folks, how you doing? Dave McRae here. Coming at you live from Hollywood, California, folks. I'm in town for the Voice Arts Awards at Warner Brothers Studios uh, this coming Sunday night. And we arrived today and we were starving. So what did we have? Well, we went to In-N-Out Burger. As two Torontonians from Canada, we have yet to eat at In-N-Out Burger because we don't have them in Canada. At least I don't think we do. No, I don't think we do. Uh, and we've heard that In-N-Out Burger is all the rage. So, we went to In-N-Out Burger, and the verdict was, I didn't really like it. I didn't like it at all. I have to say, I am not a fan of In-N-Out Burger. So, to remedy my disappointment, we are now going over to one of my favorite stores here in Hollywood, which is Amoeba. You cannot visit Hollywood, California without visiting Amoeba. If you've been to Hollywood and you've never been to, to Amoeba and you are a big movie pop culture fan, then you got to go to Amoeba on Sunset Boulevard. So that's where we're going now. And uh, it's, it's I, I got to say, the night is getting a bit cool here. It's a bit kind of crisp. It's probably about, I don't know, maybe 16 degrees Celsius. So, which is pretty much what it would be like back home if it wasn't snowing. That's right. It snowed back home. Anyway. So I uh, hope you guys are doing well, and uh, I plan on doing some more little videos throughout the week to keep you guys updated on what's going on with me here in Hollywood. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Hey folks, me again. I'm back. We are sitting in the underground parking of Amoeba and we walked around and we looked at all the DVDs and the vinyl and the Blu-rays and the CDs and all the pop culture stuff and doodads and trinkets and all that awesome shit that I absolutely love when I come to Amoeba. But I, I, I've, come to, I've come to the conclusion that I need a list of things when I go into a place like Amoeba. If you've ever been to Amoeba, it is so overwhelming. There is so much to look at. There's so many DVDs and movies and, and, and pop culture stuff. It's just a gigantic warehouse of just tons of shit. I'm walking around going, <laughs> I don't know what to get. So anyway, so I ended up uh, replacing my Amoeba hoodie that I actually uh, bought last time I was here. And, uh, but it, I accidentally put it in the dryer and it shrunk. So I bought a new one today and I also bought a uh, Amoeba toque, as we Canadians like to say, or winter hat. Uh, I bought that as well. So, um, you know, it's not, it's not a complete loss and I'm still in town for another five days or so. So I may come back if I think of something like, ah, you know what, I need to get that. That's the movie I need to get. You can't just walk into a place like Amoeba and expect to get some. It's just, it's way too overwhelming. It's like, <laughs> there's too much stuff. Anyway, that's my Amoeba experience. We are now uh, leaving Amoeba and we're going to go get something to eat. Maybe find something on Hollywood Boulevard or something like that. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. If you've ever been to Hollywood, California and driven around Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Studio City, the Hollywood Hills, it feels like you are, like the, the entire thing is a movie set, like it's a miniature, and, and you are like this little piece on this big gigantic board, because the palm trees are so tall, and you can smell the wealth and the power and the money and the studio system and movies and it's, 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 it's a really interesting experience. And I've been here many times and it, that experience and that feeling never goes away. Those of you that have been to Hollywood, do you know what I'm talking about? Do you get that feeling? Like we're on Sunset Boulevard right now and you can feel it. It's a feeling. I'm expecting 
like the art department and some guy's big hand to come over and pick me up in my car and move me over somewhere else because I'm just this tiny little thing on this big gigantic set piece. It's fascinating.